Good day. I'm Konstantin Polikarnopoulos, Vice President at uh, Juniper Networks, uh, responsible for 5G uh, products and technology. And thank you for attending our session on delivering end-to-end -end network slice orchestration and SLA in an open, uh, open run ecosystem. As we consider Operan, thankfully Operan appears to be a one-way avenue, but we're still at the very early stages of adoption. And therefore there is a lot uh, to be done by our community to make sure that Oran uh, proves to be a success uh, delivering the promise of 5G. So key tenants of uh, success obviously include um, open ecosystem here. We have to work as a community to enable portability, interoperability across all Oran components, both on the net network uh, uh, stack, as well as on the uh, RIC and the X apps are apps that make up the Oran architecture. Um, new business models, the efficacy of new uh, revenue generating uh, business models that are enabled by Oran uh, is important for operators to accelerate adoption. And again, as a community of uh, innovators, vendors, uh, customers, we need to uh, demonstrate the ability to offer new levels of optimization of spectral efficiency, uh, the ability to uh, optimize energy consumption, and of course, the uh, capability of enabling new business models that generate revenue, as well as reduce uh, costs for operators, both on the CAPEX side, but predominantly on the OPEX side through automation. And automation is key is key not only because of the new complexities that are introduced by Oran, we now have essentially the radio intelligent component uh, functioning as an operating system of the radio, enabling the provisioning of new applications that address everything that I mentioned, right? Spectral efficiency, energy consumption, new business models, uh, new optimization techniques, including uh, some type of optimization, so being able to address simplicity, uh, life cycle management, operational simplicity, visibility through uh, automation and control are going to be key tenants in uh, the success of Warren. If we take a look at where we are today with uh, essentially monolithic mobile networks up until now, and where we want to, uh, to, to be uh, to deliver the promise of 5G, um, where unlike monolithic networks that look at all devices, all use cases, all customers as the same, uh, we need to deliver device-specific, user-specific, use case-specific service level agreement and quality of service, uh, full segmentation uh, and security, high availability in its use case uh, through a common infrastructure uh, and through the enablement of end-to-end -end network slicing, whereby a network slice addresses specific use cases with strong SLA attached to its network slice, which is essentially fully virtualized networking, including uh, the applications that make up the network slice. So let's take a look at um, the key uh, challenges that we face in not just in the world of Oran, but overall in delivering the end-to-end -end network slice, a key tenant, tenant again uh, for delivering the promise, the full promise of 5G. First of all, it's a uh, scale. We are faced with unprecedented requirements on delivering uh, scalability across immense infrastructure that includes thousands of access points, potentially thousands of edge clouds, uh, hardens of regional clouds and national clouds, as well as uh, hyper clouds, including uh, the use of uh, public clouds. A strict SLA delivered in an overlay fashion, in overlay networks, right, in virtual networking, uh, with quality of service guaranteed, um, high availability guaranteed, and everything being software driven, um, enabling uh, the provisioning of new uh, optimization techniques, new business models on demand. End-to-end -end segmentation and security are critical, especially given that we're talking now about the uh, notion of multi-tenancy at the level of uh, virtual networking, whereby um, 
crossing between uh, different slices is a possibility, a real possibility. Uh, and we need to guarantee that each slice is fully segmented, fully secured. And in some of the critical use cases, availability can reach the six nines, something that we have not really demonstrated that scale yet in the world of 5G. And finally, of course, the promise of network slice marketplace, whereby you can order a slice or you can subscribe to an existing slice on demand. Again, a new capability in uh, mobile networks uh, as we move to the full adoption of 5G. So these are the key uh, uh, obstacles or the key challenges, I should say. Many of them have been addressed by innovative uh, new solutions. And let me talk about the approach we're taking here to address the end-to-end -end network slice from the orchestration point of view, whereby uh, a slice essentially can be as simple as a use as a service chain or as complex as a full-fledged operator, an MVNO. And at the bottom, we have the abstraction of the infrastructure, which includes uh, the private clouds, thousands of edge clouds, regional clouds, national data centers, as well as the hyperscalers, the public clouds, right? So as we onboard such complex use cases in a highly distributed, complex, multi-cloud, uh, multi-domain infrastructure, the, again, the issue of simplicity of management, lifecycle management, provisioning, visibility is key to the design, is key to the requirement, right? So an operator, a service provider, uh, can onboard an MVNO, and the MVNO now has the requirement of provisioning their own slices, right? So we need to support that uh, use case in a way that uh, even though the uh, provisioning, again, anchors at the service provider level, the management, the visibility is fully contained within the tenant, within the MVNO, which introduces new complexities to the service management and orchestration, especially as we talk about end-to-end. -end. Um, so the tenant has seemingly full control of provisioning, uh, managing the life cycle of their slices, yet the provider needs to, at all times, support the SLA attached to the tenant. And uh, we support, again, from the SMO point of view, a tenant manager, uh, as well as a uh, service provider ma manager. So a service provider can have multiple tenants operating simultaneously on one shared infrastructure. A key part of the success for delivering end-to-end -end network slice with strong SLA attached is to design the SMO around the three uh, semantic domains. And the three semantic domains are the access, the run, uh, adapting the ORAN architecture, the transport, and the core. So uh, if we look at the transport, it's not just the one transport. We have transport within the ORAN architecture, the mid hall, for example, the back hall, right? So these are three semantic domains that have multiple incarnations in a highly distributed infrastructure. So the end-to-end -end service orchestration has to account for dynamic onboarding, provisioning such complex use cases with multiple transport domains, multiple RAN domains, multiple core domains potentially across a highly distributed uh, multi-cloud environment. That's the end goal. And stretching the SLA across these um, three semantic domains and their uh, multiple incarnations in a way that consistently delivers the SLA is one of the largest uh, uh, challenges that we face. So at Juniper, for example, uh, we have already enabled our transport to support end-to-end -end guaranteed SLA on mul multiple tenants. And we use similar technology to enable um, end-to-end -end network slicing in the mid hall uh, as well as um, across the core where the key functions of the core can be either shared or can be individually uh, allocated to specific tenants. So they can be private or shared. And delivering the SLA across 
such disparate complex use cases in a consistent way is a key objective of, of the design we're following. Uh, going back to the ORAN and the need to support the success of ORAN, uh, as a community, there is no question we need to address uh, the open ecosystem to commit to interoperability and to uh, testing platforms that allow us to demonstrate interoperability. Uh, and from that to derive, to agree upon on use cases that address network efficiencies, network optimization, uh, energy efficiency, and new use cases that drive revenue uh, as a community. And that will drive the necessary requirements that will be reflected in the ORAN specifications going forward. Again, we are well on our way to achieving that, but more effort needs to be expanded by the community to really accelerate uh, both the maturity of ORAN and the adoption of ORAN. Uh, that will get us to the point where we will have interoperable, portable X apps and R apps running on the radio intelligent controller that will really open the floodgate of new business models, new innovative ways of achieving spectral efficiency uh, and addressing uh, uh, KPIs for mission critical use cases. If we look at uh, the approach we're taking at uh, Juniper, again, we are committed to experience first networking, which is really the North Star of the company, company wide. We're focusing on uh, simplicity and uh, visibility um, uh, that uh, comes through automation. Uh, so that is key in enabling reduction of OPEX, right? Taking the uh, complexity down to um, um, zero touch, if you, you know, if you wish is the end goal. Of course, it's a long way there, but we're well on our way to delivering that in end-to-end uh, -end network slice orchestration. Uh, Multi-cloud is very important to us. Uh, and I think it should be very important to the community because uh, operators, as well as enterprises, because we're talking about both private and public uh, 5G, uh, will need to have the flexibility of leveraging uh, the uh, public clouds, the simplicity and the uh, speed at which we can enable new use cases leveraging public clouds. At the same time, uh, operators will need to have the ability to leverage or build out their own private clouds, right? So having a, a SMO uh, that supports multi-cloud environments, public and private clouds, and the delivery, the provisioning of such complex use cases through network slicing across multi-clouds is, is, a, is a key requirement uh, for the approach we're taking. And I believe for the approach the community needs to take. Uh, intelligent automation uh, and optimization, again, delivered primarily through the radio intelligent controller uh, is the new opportunity that Open RAN brings to the market. And uh, multi-tenancy is absolutely a key requirement. Uh, multi-tenancy at a new level that has not been um, realized up until now. Again, that addresses regional uh, slices, addresses uh, national slices, very complex use cases, all of them coexisting on one shared infrastructure. And uh, that takes us to the multi-access, right? Network slicing uh, that can support use cases that can be mission critical or simply enhanced mobile uh, uh, broadband will need to be supported across different access media, not just 5G, but 4G, Wi-Fi, wireline. So these are very important requirements in uh, delivering simplest, sim simple, seamless way of onboarding, provisioning, and managing network slices in an end-to-end -end fashion. And with that, I will conclude the presentation and thank you very much for attending.